Hey, everybody, Dr. Eric Herman, guru chiropractor, peace and love, back for another video. This is my current new patient, Big Andre. How you doing? What's up? Give me some. He's here, about, drove about an hour, right? Hour drive to get here. He's got sciatica. Nasty, right? Not right this minute. Right now, it, no. It, but It'll get me later. He, we were just talking about it. It calmed down when, as soon as he got here, because I think he, no, it, it scared me. But I, I said, I'm going to find it and get it anyway, no problem. But typically, it's been hanging around like an 8 or 9 out of 10, so it's been pretty severe for what, about two weeks? For about two weeks. Okay. And uh, you did have a, a, an, an episode of this, what, a couple of years ago? A couple years ago. But then it went away, and it, it nothing away. in between, really. No. And now it was back again. Full okay. Fledged. Full fledged. So we're going to do, we already did the exam. He's already qualified. We're going to do a, a, a ring dinger, full spine decompression, and a full body adjustment, uh, Johnson Biophysics. By the way, I'm, I'm fresh back from my advanced training with Dr. Johnson. Thank you, Dr. Jo Jay. I feel fired up, and I got some new skills and ready to work on this guy and get him do, hey, you know, to be well. New, new patients that he's, you get the new training from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you ready to go? Yes, sir. Okay, go back on your belly here. We're going to start off. I'm going to do just a little stretch out, a little relaxing for your muscles, um, a little massage, and then we're going right in for the big pull. And then we're going to come back here and do a lot more on this table. And hopefully, my intention and my prayers are that you're walking out of here feeling better. I'm not promising perfect. So your job, just stay relaxed and let me know if anything I'm doing don't feel right, right, verbally, and we'll be all right. So you got right side, sciatica, shooting right down all the way, stops at the ankle, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I've seen a few of them before, maybe like thousands, <laughs> maybe like a few tens of thousands over the last 25 years, so. Do you do? Good. Good. All right, we're gonna do a little massage with the, my my thumper massager, which every, with every all my patients love. Just Sorry. loosen you up, huh? Sorry. Except for Big Zach, who's holding the camera, gets to get your finger out of the view. <laughs> Stop shaking. Stop being so shaky. It tickles. The massager. Yeah, some yeah. people can't handle it. They're hypersensitive. Just, I, I feel like I uh, just like, like a kid, like, like you're getting tickled like crazy. And then some people can't handle it when I get it vibrating up here. I like it. Like it, it feels like it's rattling their brain. And I crack a joke when they say that. I'm like, there's probably a screw loose up there. <laughs> and I hope that they laugh. But when they don't laugh, I get nervous because I'm like, oh boy, did I cross that line? <laughs> did I offend them? Hmm. Listen, I always stay light and, and, and you know, uh, happy and try to crack jokes. Just to, you know, keep a light attitude. Um, you know, there's no need to be stuffy and serious. But when it comes to treating and safety, I'm serious as a heart attack. No doubt about that. That's what I'm saying. I try to do that to, you know, just keep a lighter attitude so, the, you know, everybody's more relaxed. Okay. Let's get this a little bit further here. Just loosen up this, the muscles around the joints so they'll release deeper. Then we're going right in for the big pull. You nervous? You nervous about the pull? Good man. I know you're lying, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. I'm, I'm just kidding around. <laughs> Don't lie. That's what we were just talking about. We were just talking off camera about that. I watched the videos. I'm like, ouch. Yeah, but it looks like it might hurt. It really doesn't. But he's like, he's like, if it gets rid of my sciatica, I don't care. I'm going for it, right? Yeah. Took me a couple months to do it. All right, good. A little warm up. I don't even consider that like a major part of the treatment, but some people feel good after it. No, it does. Loosen you. All right, Mr. Andre, take your time. Make your way back up on your feet. We're going in the back room. We're going to raise up the table, so you just stay relaxed. Mm -hmm. I like to keep the brain in it. Yeah. Good. 
Okay. Now the table's going to lift up your legs. Just let the table do it. Just stay relaxed. Don't wiggle around too much. Don't, don't move your legs. Let them bend as it comes up. Actually, you know what? You got to slide your butt down towards me a little more. A little more. A little more. Yeah, right there is good. No, a little bit back this way. <laughs> All right, good. Now we're good. Get these up a little bit further. What this does is it flattens out your lower back and relaxes it. Okay. So just a little heads up tip. If you ever have, if you're ever, you know, jacked up down here and it's bad and you can't get comfortable, mm -hmm. right? So Lay on your back and put your legs up yeah. and it will, a lot of times it'll relax it and you get a little relief. That's what I was so you can get some shut eye. Yeah. yeah okay. Stretching. Yeah. Good. Slide your butt down again a little bit. Yeah. Here. Good. All right. Now we got to pin you in tight. Okay. It's going to be very tight. Don't be a baby about it. Let it <laughs> because if we get it tight, you're going to get a better release and you're going to get better results. Yeah. Higher the better, that's what you <laughs> Oh, you said worse. Okay. I'll edit it out. Okay. Can you handle that? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, give me your hands. I'm just going to do a little tug. This is not the treatment. I just want to make sure there's no slack between your hips and the pins. Mm -hmm. But you'll get a sense of it. Okay. Good. Relax it down. Now I put the towel around your neck, but really it grabs your back of your head, your skull, and your jaw. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I spritz it a little bit so I don't slip. Yeah. Okay. Lift up your neck and come down. Good. It's going to be a little snug here, but if it's choking your throat, that is too tight. You let me know. You yeah, good? good right now. I can breathe. All right, good. Now, listen. This is very important. Most important for you. Keep your teeth together, but don't bite hard. Just keep it closed. So when I pull, you don't bang a tooth or get your tongue in there. Yeah, sure. Other than that, I got you. You ready? Yeah, let's go. All right. Stay relaxed. Take a deep breath in. Blow it out slow. And boom. Oh. That's the ring dinger. Yeah, I feel it. You feel it come all the way down to release? Good. That's music to my ears. That's the ring dinger. Yeah. From the neck all the way down to the tailbone, one pull, whatever needs it gets released. All right, we're going to lower. Was it painful? Yeah. Down there? Is it still painful or was it like it's a quick, like quick pain, pain and then it goes away? away? Yeah, that happens. Good pull. So now we're going to do a little release in your neck, and then we're going to get you up on your feet, see how you feel, and we're going to go in there and do more. All right. Stay there. All right, let's see. Relax. Nice. Let it go. Loose shoulder. There you go. Good releases there. Boom. All right. Here we're done. So when you feel ready, take your time. The best way to get up is slide your legs off the table, lay sideways, and get up. Don't bend forward up. Because right. bending forward right now is not good for your lower back. Roll up. Yeah, roll up. Yeah, there you go. Good. Perfect. That's how I want you to get up every time you're laying, you know, as lower long as back. that's bothering you. Truthfully? Yeah. The pain did go away. Woo! Like the discomfort? Yeah. I don't feel it. As I was just walking in here, I felt yeah. it. Yeah, and now getting up. Zip. So you told me it was a 3 out of 10 when we, we first walked in. I don't feel anything. I felt that Good. a little soreness from the pool. But yeah, that's very promising. Good job. Wow. It doesn't always happen that it goes completely away. It always reduces just about every time. Now, so you're like... Maybe a little bit here. Right. Yeah. But guess what? We got, we got a lot more to do on that table. This is not the full treatment. This is big time, but it's not the full treatment. We got to go back wow. that way. But good. Good job. I'm very happy. I, you're on the mend. There's no doubt about it. Go back on your belly, face down. Let me see in these hips. Remember we were talking about the twist when I did the exam? The hips are perfect now. No twist. The shoulders, a little bit, but, but much better than they were before. Um, also, even. It came down an inch and a half, which means... I, will, I would bet money without even feeling it that it's a lot looser because the tightness, the tension was what was pulling it up. 
No, that's what I said. I feel Yeah, very good. All right. Now, remember when I bent up your knees, you told me it was making it worse here? Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. Tell me if it feels same or better. Boom, 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 boom. What's going on in your lower back? Uh, Does it feel same that, you know, remember the first time we did it? Just a, like a little pressure here, but no, nope, it's not pain. It's just, I yeah. guess, when you push it. Yeah, but compared to the first time I did it. Way better. Amen. That's what I'm looking for because those are my measurements that tell me whether it's working or not. You get me? Good. All right. So now we're going to do some more releasing, more adjusting here okay. by doing some push down. It's called the drop technique. Mm -hmm. um, slide down about another inch or two. Right there. Good. The belly part drops. This part pops up. And I'm just going to push down. Stay relaxed. Good. Going to do a few of these. Good. Nice. Now we're going to open up your sacroiliacs a little bit. I do both sides even though you have symptoms on one because I want the whole body to be balanced. I'll do this on this side a little more on the involved side. <clears throat> Good. Nice. You okay? Mm -hmm. I feel a lot more wiggle when I push down on it. Does it feel yeah. different? Like less pressure? That's awesome. All right. So that was the pelvis. Now we're going to release the lumbar spine, the lower back um, vertebrae. Okay. <clears throat> Slide up a little bit right there. <laughs> Stay relaxed. Good. Good. Nice. Boom. Wham. That was a big one. Boom. You okay? That was deep. Now, let's bend again. Does that feel even different than before? Now it's gone, zip. Oh, boy. I think this guy's getting better. That's really, really good. I'm so happy that you're saying that. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little more up this way. And then I got a few more tricks up my sleeve. So I'm gonna lift this up here and we're gonna just release a little more here. Stay relaxed, deep breath in, blow it out, exhale, let it go, relax. Good, we're gonna do a little drop. Good, a little more, good. A little bit gentle, much more gentle than here. Little baby drops in the neck, okay? Right. Stay relaxed. I got you. I just got to test the tension. There we go. Stay loose. You good? Mm -hmm. A couple more of those. Good. Why am I doing this? You don't. You didn't have any complaints up here, but why am I doing it? Because it's there's some tightness in there. There's some irregular motion and and tension so we're getting it out now before it turns into a big problem that's called prevention early treatment better, much better than when you're like this but you had I, i'm not saying you know you're wrong because you didn't know this was going to happen mm -hmm. but if you can get in front of the symptoms that's even better Absolutely. so that's why i recommend to all my patients to consider coming in for maintenance visits. Not every, you know, not all, not frequently, but every couple months or something, mm -hmm. when you feel things start tighten up before pain, so you stay in front of that. Absolutely. Like a car, when, when should you tune up your car? When the lights go on or before that, <laughs> right? Yeah. Why does it, doesn't it make sense to do that with your body? Once the light on, it's a lot worse. Look up, tilt, stay loose. Nice, back in the middle. Coming around the other side. Good, look up a little, tilt. There you go, good one. Remember that, remember I told you that right side was tighter? It's definitely doing better. Good, all right, roll over on your back, face up. <clears throat> Slide down towards your feet a little bit till I say stop, right there, good. Now we're going to release the rib cage and some of the clavicle shoulder from the front. 
Okay. So bring your arms out like Jesus on the cross. Stay relaxed. Good. Good. Now we're gonna get where the collarbone attaches to the to the rib. Boom. To the sternum. Boom. You okay? Mm -hmm. Just let me know if you're not. A little bit here where the ribs attach to the, the breastbone. Good. No pain, no gain. Yeah, you might breathe deeper from this. And this helps with the middle back stress. Okay. Good. All right, hands back up there. Slide up a little bit. Good. Now we're going to do a pull from the knee. It's going to possibly release the knee and even the hip, maybe even the ankle. So just stay loose with your, give me your leg. You drop it in my hand, stay loose and floppy. Relax it. Bam, feel that pop? Slide up a little bit. Did you feel it in the lower back too or no? No, I felt it in the knee. Yeah, that knee release, good. Stay relaxed. Good. Slide up again. Yeah. Now we're gonna pull at the ankle, release the ankle and some of the feet and the toes in the arch. Relax, drop, boom, slide up a little, one more time, loose, loose, loose foot, good, thumb it up, drop it in my hand, stay loose, there you go, a little bit toes, good, 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 nice. Okay, sit up when you're ready. Now we're gonna do the shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers, both sides, and we'll be done for today. Okay. So bend this one up in front like so. I gotta hug around you. Get here, stay relaxed. Good. This one. Relax it, relax it, relax it. Good. Coming around a little bit in the elbow. Drop it in my hands. Stay loose. A little crunchy there, lot. drop, drop, good. Now a wrist, floppy wrist, floppy wrist. Nice, good. I actually do have bad wrist. You didn't tell me about that. I forgot. Pull. From playing football, so it was nice. Painful wrist, pain? No, no, I like. Just feel all jammed up? Because I play DB, so oh. I'm constantly jamming. Yeah. And I'm 40, so you know, back in the day. Let it go, drop it in my hands. Good. Well, guess what? They ain't today in his jam now, or uh, that one ain't. This one's gonna be unjammed in a second. Good. Relax. Let it go. Yeah. Woo! You're right. They were jammed. Let it go. Good. Whew. I'm winded already. <laughs> Done. Okay. So, walk around a little bit, and tell me what you feel, and if there's any pain, what number is it now? If anything, I feel like a, maybe a half of one. Half, like half. Yeah. So it went so from like a three to a half. Overall, I feel it's, it's way better. It's not like I'm saying, oh, it's manageable. I can walk. Yeah. This is good. You Dude. Right now, I'll be like. Oh. Yeah. Good. My measurements, you know, I, I can't feel what you feel, obviously. Mm -hmm. If doctors could feel what patients feel, they'd be, that would be good, but we can't do that yet. <laughs> So we have our own tests and our own measurements to see where the problem is and to evaluate whether it's getting better or not. Yes. My measurements showed big release, big release oh, today. Okay. So I'm expecting that you're going to be doing better. I'm not saying perfect. I'm not 100% sure that this is all you need. At the one time, no, yeah. Sometimes, but that's rare. Usually it's a handful, um, two or three. Dying, so I knew it wasn't going to be just one. Yeah. Um, so here's what you do. My suggestion is today, before you leave to go home, okay. I want you to do like a 10 minute uh, full out walk, like speed walk with, while you're uh, moving your arms okay. like this. Head up, don't head down. Why would you do that? Research shows that when you do that, you're teaching the brain to remember this alignment so it holds okay. better and longer. So it's very important and very effective. I would not skip that, All right. okay? When you go home, if you have soreness, I want you to put ice pack right on the soreness. So that's what I feel. It's not pain, it feels soreness, yeah. like, cause it's only right here. Well, 
That's normal for after me. Yeah, but the, I normal is loose and sore when you're walking out of here. But no, it definitely is a difference. Yeah, good. If you feel sore or any pain still, I want you to put ice on there for 20 minutes. Okay. And the best ice research shows is crushed real ice in a Ziploc okay. as opposed to the gel packs. That's not as effective. And do it, if you can handle it, right on the skin right on the will give you the best results. Right. If you have any glitches or any flare-ups, you know, within the next couple of days that you're concerned about, reach out to Zach, let him know. Okay. He'll tell me and I'll get on the phone. We'll do a phone call check-in. Just make sure you're good. All right, no, I appreciate it. Okay. If after a couple of days you're feeling really good, um, you know what? I'm going to recommend come back even if you don't feel, even if you don't feel any pain, consider coming back in a week or two right. for another, at least one more follow-up to check you, make sure there's nothing lingering that could give you a flare-up. And then we'll see from there what you need next. Yeah, I would not do any heavy lifting or bending today if no, you could no. avoid it. And if you need a note, I'll write it for the yeah, doc, I'll for the it. work and everything. Okay? I'm off the next two days. Yeah. Don't do a lo long uh, walking, long sitting, if you could avoid that. And, no, a, and not a lot of bending. It's going to be driving back. Yeah. Oh, you, that's unavoidable. Yeah. <laughs> I would say if you were going more than an hour to stop and get out yeah. after an hour and walk for 15 minutes oh. and then keep, continue to go. If it starts bothering you while you're driving home, you might want to stop and just walk around and stretch a little bit and yeah. like don't do a straight through drive, do, you know, break it up. So about when I get home, I should stretch. Um, if you feel like it's tight, but I'm not, I don't think you really need to do much of that, really. Just ice if it's sore, rest, but before you go home, do that walk. Gotcha. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then come back in a week for a follow-up, and we'll, we'll check in, do, make sure you're good, and do a little more to get you stabilized, and then see what you need from there. No you the man. All right, let's say goodbye to the people. This is the Guru Chiropractor, Big Andre. Signing off. Peace and love to everybody. This is going up on my YouTube and my Facebook and my Instagram. If it's on YouTube, I, I, click that like button. And, and, and if you have comments, I'd be happy to answer them. Make the comments, hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel, Guru Chiropractor on YouTube. Peace and love. If you need some of this, the best way to reach me is my website, retrochiropractic.com. Go there. There's a book now link. Put your info in. It goes right to my assistant. And he grabs it and calls you back. And then you guys work out questions. And if it all works out, you get an appointment, come in, and I'll do my very best to help you too. I love and appreciate everybody. Happy Thanksgiving too, by the way. Happy and healthy Thanksgiving and holidays. And we'll talk next time. Peace.